Then he says, abide in awareness with no illusion of person. You will be instantly free and at peace. How does one abide in awareness? The sage says, abide in awareness with no illusion of person. You will be instantly free and at peace. So for me, I would read the second one very importantly, which is with no illusion of person. I feel that the abiding in awareness is our natural state anyway. The only delusion or the only play is this play of being a person. So how do we play this play? We play this play only believing ourselves to be an object within this realm. Believing ourselves to be a separate entity. You see? Person means what? He's not saying with no illusion of body. Okay? With no illusion of person. Because the body illusion or reality, whatever you like to call it, can still appear. So what is this person? This is a pure imagination. It is a pure construct made up of our beliefs. You see? So to abide in awareness with no illusion of person, you will be instantly free and at peace. You can actually just stop here. <laughs> <laughs> because he says you will be instantly free and at peace if you were just to not fall for the illusion of a person and we already being in satsang we know that to abide in awareness is just happening on its own can you be unaware cannot be so just this abiding is a natural part we don't have to many of us make this mistake of trying to trying to become the awareness you see trying hard to become the awareness. Can I get myself to be the awareness? But in that, we've already picked up the illusion of personhood. So the dropping of the illusion of the person is already the abiding in awareness because you are aware now. In fact, it would be impossible for you not to be aware. So if I was to say, abide in the unawareness, that would be impossible, you see. To abide in awareness is the most natural state. But we have the power, as we know, we have the power to believe ourselves to be a person. This is the illusion of personhood. See? So he says, to abide in awareness with no illusion of person, you will be instantly free and at peace. See? So what about conditioning them? Because he's spoken about this. Isn't it? What about conditioning them? But even... To pick up conditioning requires this, isn't it? The illusion of person, without picking that up right now, can you pick up any conditioning? Very often we have said in satsang that it's all about the right now. Even right now, if you don't tug at the leaf of conditioning, a thought about yourself as a person, you see, then the whole tree has no power over you. you see? So in this moment, right now, you are free. This is what we say in satsang every day. Right now, you are free. You start free. <laughs> Freedom is not a destination that you are going to. Like I read something very beautiful also from Adya today, where he said, what are you going to do right now to pretend to be unenlightened? I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> what are you going to do right now to pretend to be unenlightened? That is the real question. What are you going to pick up from the conveyor belt of the mind. 